So would you like to tell us about your relationship to Tom? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, well, he's my, my godchild, my, my, only, my only godson. Um, I've known him since the day he was born. It was, uh, it was a big day for me. I, I was the first male midwife at Stepping Hill Hospital, and he was the first child that I ever delivered. And uh, yeah, no, known him for the last 10 years, and you know, so he's grown into the strapping young boy he is now. So, um, how did yeah. the delivery go? Uh, he's pretty smooth. I mean, at, at the time I was terrified because I've never done it before, um, but I, you know, no, I think I've delivered. Oh, must be, must be close on 2,000 babies. Wow. Um, yeah, it must be something like that that I've delivered now. Um, and actually, you know, <laughs> with, uh, with a bit of context, his was actually very smooth. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he was only a little thing, and, you know, I saw the crowning head and this shock of ginger hair just pushing through. And, um, yeah, no, it was very, all very natural, and he... He slipped out like a, a bar of wet soap. It was uh, no, it went very smoothly, and uh, so the yeah. That's great. Well, you probably know it's his birthday coming up. Have you got any messages for him? I do. Well, just you know, Tom, you're a great lad. Study hard. Uh, keep up with the football and cricket. You're doing really well. Uh, hope the exams go well. And happy birthday. You know, ten years old. I can't believe it. So can you talk about when you first met Tom? Well, um, we first met Tom on holiday in Butlins um, and there was a dance, there was a dance class um, which I really wanted to do and it was um, to learn the cha-cha-cha and Tom was our dance teacher and he was great and he could really wiggle his hips. Mm. I thought it was alright, I didn't like him that much, a bit smooth, a bit smarmy maybe, a bit full of himself but George seems to be keen on him. Did you learn some good moves from him? I thought we did. That wasn't an actual, but uh, but yes. Well, I think I think given some time, I could probably I think I could probably match it. But uh, you were jealous of his light bro. A little bit. I don't think you can trust a man in sequence, to be honest, um, or a man who waxes his chest. There you go. <laughs> did you see him again after you left Butlins? Uh, we didn't go back to Butlins. Have you seen him again? I might have seen him once or twice. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> oh well, it's his it's his birthday coming up. So do you want to wish him uh, wish him anything? We'd love to wish Matt, wish Tom even <laughs> a very very happy birthday. And I guess I'd like to wish him a very happy birthday as well. Despite the extra, <laughs> despite the extra marital uh, <laughs> affair. We're having all that. I first met Zitam in 1976 in a small club in San Pedro. He was playing the knobs. He played the knobs like no other mother. Man, that man played the knobs. We called him the grande knobs. The knobs, man. Can you describe when you first met Tom? Certainly. Well, we first met Tom um, when Mark and I were on an um, anthropological expedition in the summer of 63, and we'd gone looking for a tribe that we'd heard were lost. So we went deep into the jungle and we found the tribe. We spent um, several months getting to know them, getting accustomed to their practices. They were very primitive. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And when eventually we'd, uh, we'd really established a rapport with them and felt that we'd really gained their confidence, um, we treated something pretty special. They said they were going to take take us to some kind of religious ceremony um, to meet their god. Um, so they took us up the mountain um, into a cave, and then this this kind of white shape appeared or kind of emerged from the shadows, and that was that was Tom. Tom, Tom was their god. Um, he was squeaking. It was very difficult to communicate with him. We we had no real idea what to do until um until Mark Mark thought of what we were, thought of the way to uh, get through. Um, go on. Well, it was just a, a feeling, a, a kind of well, like a, a shaking of a shaking of the hips. Um, 
a little dance, and that seemed dance. to um, that, that seemed to he, he seemed to recognise that, and he started moving as well. Uh, doing the robot. How do you know? That's a. It was it was very distinctive. It's as if you were there. It was such a. It was so, well. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Spiritual, moving. I first met Tom, um, it's a long time ago now, at, at prep school, um, yeah, we got on very well, um, although uh, I was Tom's fag in my, in my final year, um, he, he, um, he, sorry. Do you want to tell, uh, tell us about when you first met Tom? Yeah, well, we first met Tom at a Wesley concert, actually, in, um, in Edinburgh. Um, he's, a, he's a major, major fan. Yeah, I only went along because Anna persuaded me to. I'm not such a big fan myself. Well, you are now. Well, yeah, yeah now. Right. Now, we share that common bond with Tom. Um, really felt his passion for the music. How was that? Um, well, he's a little bit out of tune, um, yeah. but he does his best to get the words right most of the time. <laughs> so, what, do you go and speak to him at this concert? Yeah, well, he, he kind of grabbed our attention because he was he was messing up the lines a bit, and you know we we're quite conscious of that. So we, we went over to speak to him to help him a bit. Yeah. Just really took it forward from there. And uh, have you met him many times since that first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do kind of bond over our common love of uh, good music. Like Westlife. Yeah. Anything else? Has his, has his taste diverged? Um, well, he did introduce us to the Glee soundtrack last weekend. Um, you know, a bit more cultured, really. A beautiful moment for all of you, yeah, I should yeah, think. Yeah, another precious moment. So tell me about how you know Tom. Um, Tom, I, I met a, a, about three years ago now. Um, pretty much at the same time as my career really launched. Um, I met him in this club, a uh, very exclusive, swanky club, and I spotted him straight away because he looked so out of place. Um, and I thought, that's that's my guy, that's my dealer. And it turns out he was, he was a dealer. Um, brilliant dealer, really shabby clothes, really needs to uh, work on that. But uh, yeah, that's that's how I know Tom. I mean, he now, he now provides me with everything I need to be able to get onto the stage, because um, I'm also an alcoholic. And um, Tom, he gives me my uppers, my downers, my meow meow, my um, special treats for Sundays and Monday nights. And um, yeah, Tom, Tom's the man. I mean, it is his fault I'm an addict, uh, but you know, I figure that's the only way I could survive in this cruel, cruel industry. Do you want to wish him a happy birthday? When I think about it, I don't really because I mean, I'm high right now, and sometimes, you know, my kids, they don't like it. <laughs> Your kids together. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just really upset about my children. <laughs> so no, Tom, no, I don't wish you a happy birthday, and neither do little, little Tom and little Hayley. They don't wish you a happy birthday either, because you're the reason I'm hooked. So quickly, man, I hear you got a song about Tom. Yeah, that's right. Um, I mean, I wrote this song uh, a few years ago um, and it wasn't initially about Tom, but felt, you know, it, uh, it kind of fit um, quite perfectly for this occasion. And, you know, in the years since I wrote it, it's kind of it's become bigger than itself and uh, bigger than bigger than me, bigger than, than you, bigger than, than everything, really. And I, I thought it'd be fitting just to... Get a little well today. Take it away. Tom, 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 Tom is the name. 
satellite navigation system and it's also the name of my buddy I remember when we were so high outside on rooftops naked eating pies steak and kidney Tom, 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 the name of my buddy is also like a satellite navigation system, yeah, directing me to my dreams. I remember playing. By the side, you punched someone in the face, and I gave you a high five and said, Nice one, Lloydy, Lloydy, Lloyd, Lord Lloyd. Or should that be Doctor, Doctor Lloyd? Oh, yeah, Doctor Lloyd. Please cure me my disease Oh, happy birthday, Dr. Lloyd Happy birthday, Dr. Lloyd Yeah, happy birthday, 29 years today 29 years today, I hope you live Another 29 years And another 29 after that Yeah, another 29 after that I hope you live another 29 after that Happy birthday, Dr. Lloyd cured me from my disease. Excuse me, have you got a message for Tom? Tom? Who's Tom? Ridiculous. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Dr. Lloyd, cure me from my disease.